Good Monday, everybody. It's Hooligan, and it's that time for the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. <sighs> Give everyone a little bit to get on in. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be at work today. Uh, since everyone, Dane uh, Ellingson, hi, how are you today? Thank you for joining us. Where are you watching from? Miguel! Miguel, how are you doing? Healing up well? All right. So, uh, just a quick uh, program. <laughs> Kit, how's it going? I'm actually not in the office. <laughs> Got my days all turned around, so I'm actually here today. Um, but I dropped off all my uh, tripods and all the stuff I use to do this. So I am um, sitting on my couch with my coffee table with some beautiful banners. Um, but I got a lot of fun stuff um, to talk to you guys about today and show you that I put up on eBay. And also, I want to let you guys know um, the pre-orders for the act Lady Death action figure and the uh, Lady Death uh, statue um, are due by the 12th. So if you haven't pre-ordered your statue or your action figure, time's running out. You got two weeks left. You have till the 12th. So definitely get on that. Um, Knowing anyone who knows how our pre-orders go, we blew through a lot of stock pretty quick. So thank you, everyone. Also, I want to give a real special shout out to the uh, Coffin Comics Warehouse crew. Um, they did an amazing job really uh, cranking out the Kickstarter. And um, I just got to say they're a great bunch of people. Uh, they really worked hard to get this stuff out for you guys. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everybody. Um, <coughs> excuse me. After all that, uh, I just want to say um, thank you, everyone. For the Kickstarter um, was really well. Everyone uh, really busted their butts. We had uh, a full staff running crazy hours. Uh, Brandy was working on the weekends trying to get everything um, ready for you guys. And I just want to say um, let's give it a round of applause to uh, the Coffin Comics uh, warehouse crew and everyone who came in to help. Thank you very much. I can't count my hands because I'm holding phone. Hey, <sighs> you rule, you rule, you rule. So thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Brandy, Randy, Dakota, everyone. Francesca came in. Jimmy Calabrese had his family come in to help. So thank you. Um, it's really a family affair uh, with us at HQ. We uh, <laughs> we can't do what we do without your support and also the support of our families. Our families really love us, so thank you very much. All right, first things first. Let's see. Uh-oh, my wife's looking for Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? I don't know. Uh, anyone who's new to the show, just want to let you guys know that um, we don't do shout-outs. We have some links, so you can go ahead and click on the links and do your shopping there. Uh, we also have a link for Swornfest tickets 2021, which will be February next year. And we also have a 12-page 12, uh, 12 uh, downloadable sample of Lady Death Chaos Rules um, for you to check out. If you haven't read our books, nothing. Great. And let me know if anyone can see me. And get a shout out. Okay. It's just spinning though. It's not seeing anything. So Ace, how are you? Everybody, let's get it started. I don't know if my internet's working at all. So this should be interesting. I might have to um, go ahead. Hey, what's up? Robert, how are you? First things first, what do we got today? I got a BP, 
Most of this stuff uh, today is going to be BP editions, and, and a lot of them will be nothing. Can you hear me? Oh, so it's a few seconds behind, it looks like. Okay. Having a little bit of technical difficulties today, so. All right. Thank God my wife is here to show me everything. So the first thing I have for you guys today is the... Um, Lady Death Oblivion Kiss number one. This is the Captain Death metal cover. This is a full on metal cover. Um, it is a BP edition. Has Brian Polito's initials right down there. And of course I always try to throw in those little cool BP certificates and the other ones I have for you, uh, like the APs, um, publisher, so. And occasionally I'll get in some number three ones. Um, everyone scooped up the number threes fairly quickly. So anyways, hey, Robert, let me know if you can see me now. Um, my wife just said it just popped up. I'm asking if there's any lag to that. Yeah, there is. there's a slight lag on my end. Um, just so you guys know. So, yeah. Sorry about this. Let's hope to get uh, HQ today, but... Got my days all mixed up, but that's okay. So anyways, that's the first thing I got today. Okay, everything's popping up. There we are. Okay. Um, so I have one of these available today. Uh, I also have for you guys a couple interesting things that I was found digging around. Um, metal card sets from Kickstarters. This is from the Extinction Express. These are five metal cards, and they all have same sequential numbers. And I have a couple of these sets available. I did um, lag check. <laughs> Thanks, Ace. <laughs> so that was the uh, Extinction Express one. And also today, I have another cool homage by the great Dan Feldmer and Stephen Butler. The Cyber Death is the homage to the first appearance of Deathlock in Marvel Comics. Um, excuse me. I got the burps again. Skipping a little? Yeah, I figured as much. Um, I had to move to a certain spot in the house that the signal gets weak. Um, so, sorry about that. Next week will be a lot better because I'll be in HQ! So I have a Lady Death, um, the uh, <laughs> Cyber Death homage, uh, not homage, homage edition, that's a BP. Excuse me, it's totally Monday. So I have one of these available. And all this stuff you'll find on the eBay store, just click on the link to do your shopping and to find the items you'd like. Another cool one, uh, another wonderful piece. This is from James O'Barr, the creator of The Crow. BP cover to the Dark Forest edition. Uh, we offered this at Tucson Comic Con last uh, this past September, if I recall correctly. So I have uh, a BP edition available for you guys today here. And I believe this is probably the only copy I have at the moment. 35 seconds. Ace, thank you. I appreciate you, brother. Um, thank you for being my technical support. So I love you, Ace. Um, also, everybody, I hope uh, everyone had a good weekend. I really hope um, everyone's doing okay in these crazy times we're in. But that's all right. We always get through it. Next up, I have a Death the Barbarian. This is a damaged copy, and it's designed to look that way. So it looks like wear and tear from everyone's collection back in the day when... Back when uh, us youngins didn't know about bagging and boarding and collecting comics, usually these were how our books looked. Um, also, it looks so authentic and realistic um, with the nice chips in the cover, with the nice cracks and creases. It's just a really fun thing that Brian does on the homage editions, especially on the classic stuff. He'll go 
real clean look. Sometimes um, there was a variant of some of these on the regular edition where the costume was actually blue. Uh, every fifth or tenth one, if I recall, the color scheme changed on the costume. So there's a blue variant floating around on her costume. Um, my house with the best Wi-Fi. <laughs> awesome. Also, it doesn't help. I live in an old house. Um, um, sometimes signals um, <laughs> bounce around. Robert, um, who do you work for? Do you work for... Uh, I'm going to have to work for uh, one of the internet companies locally because I might have to leave them because I haven't been too happy lately. It's hotter in hell there. Yes, it is hotter in hell here. Um, it's about over 105. They say the temperature is 105, but unfortunately, um, it gets a lot hotter than that with the asphalt and cement around you. So that also brings up the temperature quite a bit. And it flipping sucks. Robert, you may have lost me, but together we'll always find each other. <laughs> I'm just going to have some fun today, guys. Uh, like I say, um, apologize for the really cruddy service. I even had them um, upgrade the service and do some shenanigans. But <laughs> as you can see, their, their, uh, their service is waning quite a bit. Uh, next up, another BP edition is the um, Lady Death Revelations. This is the Death Widow Emerald Action Figure Edition. Now, this edition uh, is not an action figure. I had to put that in the postings because um, I think the last time we did one of these, we did a Funko Pop Chase Edition, and people thought it was an actual Funko Pop. And so it's like, no, no, it's an actual cover. Um, made to look like an homage to a Funko Pop. And this one is an homage to the Marvel Legacy figures. Um, I believe they're still producing them. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I might just drop the company. And not only that, we're probably going to be moving out of here uh, once the lease is up because we're looking to buy a house. Um, we're kind of done with renting, so I'll be happy to uh, be owning a house, hopefully um, within a year. Be nice to have something for a change. Uh, anyways, um, so this is a homage to the Marvel Legacy figures, um, and I like that they included um, the Build-A-Figure like they do sometimes. Um, it's really cool. Uh, it's a really neat idea that Marvel came up with these figures. I remember people were, like, really going nuts trying to get all the action figures so they could build, like, Galactus and, and characters like that, just very large characters. Um, so I think it's... Uh, it's a pretty neat uh, idea. I'm glad we did homage to this. Uh, I think I have about one or two of these up right now on the eBay store. Um, dude, thank you. Um, this is going to be our, our first house together. Uh, me and my wife Susie and our daughter Anise. We're, um, that's what we're shooting for. That's our goal by the end of the year um, or beginning of next year to have a house. So thank you. I'd love to own a house. Build a turtle sanctuary out back. Here's the second one. Uh, another neat one. This one's a interesting mock-up edition. Uh, this is for the from Fiend Fest. This is uh, the Lady Death Devotions De Balfo and Friends Instant Edition. And what was neat about this Instant Edition is De Balfo went ahead and started working on it, and then uh, Monty Moore jumped in and did a part of it. And then you had Jesse Witchman did a piece uh, added to it, and so on and so forth. David Harrigan included. So a lot of the artists went ahead, they designed this thing together, someone did the hair, someone did the clothing, someone did the drapery, and it was really impressive to watch. Then we shipped it out to the printers and had these editions made up within 24 hours. Uh, these are the instant editions. Uh, this is a mock-up, and the interesting thing, the interior is actually Nightmare Symphony. He, we had run out of bases to do like a representation of the book, so I used... Um, one of the uh, Nightmare Symphonies uh, as the base to uh, make this mock-up. Um, this was something we featured last year at Fiendfest, last February. My God, it's been over a year now. Um, so I have one of these available. And again, has the cute little mock-up COA for you. 
All right, next up, another BP edition. This is the Heartbreaker Diodato Hollow Foil Edition. This book is beautiful. This book is really beautiful. I've <laughs> I love the hollow foils, and again, with all of the hollow foils, they do come with uh, a warning. Please do not look at them in direct sunlight. You could go blind. Ace, 89 degrees in uh, Salt Lake City sounds amazing right now. <laughs> Bob, how are you today? Oh, good, good for you to join us. Thank you for coming in. So I have one of these available, and it is a BP edition. Beautiful little BP signature down at the bottom. Another real popular one here. Again, another BP. This is the All Hallows Evil Graveyard Edition by Jim Ballant. Nice. Bob, how was your weekend, by the way? Good one. Hope everyone had a good weekend. It was really hot. I decided to uh, go out and get some sunlight. And out of the blue, a bug flew on me and into my shirt. And it was a bloody wasp. Hung in the neck by a wasp on Saturday. So I had I this. No wasp at all, you all day. Within five, minutes. Within five minutes of me sitting down on the porch, a wasp flies in my shirt and decides to sting me in my neck. So <laughs> it really sucked. <laughs> I had a nice big swollen lump on the side of my neck on Saturday. So that was a hoot. Uh, and then it was hot. So um, sweat on it uh, definitely didn't make it very comfortable. So uh, a couple Benadryls kicked that out after a couple hours. And um, boy, did I sleep good that night. So very interesting one. And then another thing happened. I was helping uh, make dinner and I burned my fingers grabbing out the uh, pasta. We were making lasagna and I burned my finger or I should say my thumb. So I've had a heck of a fun weekend. Oh, Bob, you got that number three. Props, dude. It's a beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. I'm glad it got to you. Um, like I say, the warehouse crew has been really cranking it out, uh, trying to get everything caught up. Um, like I say, we were for a couple months, we were running on limited staff, but they're running on all four thrusters, firing ahead, warp speed. They are taking it to you guys. And again, great job by the warehouse crew. They really, really busted their butts to get these books out for everyone. All those who supported the Kickstarter, thank you very much. Also, um, we have a current Kickstarter going on right now for La Muerta. Brandy does, dude. I totally agree with you, Bob. Totally agree. Next up. This is the, this is the Lady Death Lingerie um, Premier Metallic Edition. It is a BP. I only have one of these available today. And it is put on the eBay store. Just click on the link and pick up the things you're looking for today. <laughs> Just tell everyone. Oh, Ace. You can be making fun of me today, ain't you? <laughs> oh, the barf bags. I did find the barf bags in the warehouse. Um, that has to be... I've been doing uh, comic collectibles for over 25 years. And when Brian told me the concept of the barf bags, I was really kind of like, what? And then they came in and they were so cool because each one was a different piece of work was amazing so i'm glad i was able to find um the last few and get them out to you um i'm hoping i can find at least a couple more um or at least one more just to put up there so uh, i'm glad you guys are enjoying what i'm throwing down out there and i really appreciate it and i, I really appreciate your guys's messages so thank you very much just tell everyone your wife bit you <laughs> Thank you. It, it, she likes to pinch. She does, she's not a biter. She's a pincher, and I got the well. <laughs> uh, next up, I'm hoping to do some digging around and find some more. I had a Lady Death Icon number one, yo-yo edition, but there was some remark ones. They were limited to 25, and I far, so I'm going to be doing some um, digging around. 
Um, once I get back to HQ, I probably won't be able to upload anything for a little bit because I got to get in there and do some full inventories for uh, Brandy and everyone so we can get all those numbers up to date. But this is the Lady Death Icon number one, Yo-Yo Edition. It is a remark. It was limited to 20 And there's the remark right there by Yo-Yo and then her signature right down there. So I have one of these available right now. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been noticing just before I start the show, <laughs> I start getting a lot of dings, so people were uh, definitely shopping. So I don't know what's sold yet. What's a Wi-Fi booster relay? Can I get that by your products? Uh, I don't know. Who, who's asked that? that? Was that... Uh, Robert? Hey, Robert. Um, where can we get one of those Wi-Fi boosters? Because we definitely use one here at the house. It's it's getting really ridiculous. Or I'm just going to change companies. All right. Next up, I got another homage. We have the uh, Miss Death. This is, then again, another damaged edition. It's got all the fake little spot creases and cracks you would see when you... Uh, go to like yard sales to go pick up comics back in the day a lot of the picked up look like this just you know well read um worn but you could tell whoever owned them loved the hell out of them. dude i agree uh bob uh yo-yo is amazing i really love her art style um i think she's got a very unique look and uh it's a pleasure to see her work um and I love finding her books and putting them out there for you because she's developing a heck of a following and she deserves it because she works her butt off and she's got some really good style. So I agree with you. Yo-Yo, I love her too. She's got great work. And also, guys, thank you for all the interactions. I appreciate it. Uh, I had mentioned also about our La Muerta uh, Kickstart is going on right now. I believe we have two weeks left on it. And I also want to let you guys know I put out a challenge that if La Muerta Retaliation does sales over the previous La Muerta um, Kickstarter uh, Ascension, I will cut my hair off live on the show. Bye, Bye babe. And I will have a pie smashed in my face after the haircut. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see what your question was, Robert. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even see your question there, Robert. How many stories do you have where you live? Oh, it's all one-story apartments. I did not get your question there, Robert. What was it? Did you have uh, just one story? Thank God. I used to live in multi-level apartments. Horrible, horrible. Another cool homage, and this one's another hollow. This is the Lady Drac hollow foil. Uh, this one edition is signed. I do have one signed and one unsigned. Oh yes, um, I did not see the barf bag questions. Let me go back and see if I can find that for you. Yes, I did find those in the warehouse. Um, one thing I, I like to do, I like to dig around in boxes and stuff to look for treasures. Um, when I get back, I got to straighten up a wreck. We haven't had a chance to really uh, be able to go in there and clean it up and organize it and stuff like that. Um, but I did find uh, this in the warehouse with some other cool books, um, trading cards and stuff like that. A lot of ideas on how to um, sell some trading card, old trading cards I found. Um, there's some signed ones and other real neat old school stuff to uh, put in uh, some ideas I have that I'll probably be uh, brainstorming on. I wish I was frozen, Robert. It would be a lot cooler. You got it, Robert. Sorry about that. I apologize. I think I'm going to be leaving my internet provider. I'm kind of like had it with them. Here's the unsigned edition. Same book, Lady Drac. This one is like number one out of 99. And this is unsigned. 
And then the sine one is number equal 90. Whew, man, it is hot in here. One thing that I love for uh, one drawback is it uh, the AC units are so bad because everything was all rigged up for uh, swamp coolers. So the AC is ugh. Gallery, this is David Harrigan, Hellwitch Promotion, publisher file, one left. And there you go, the publisher file COA. Get some read off on that. Really beautiful cover. Although those those, those skulls on the, um, yeah, that looks like those would hurt for pasties. I don't know, those, those look painful. Painful, sexy, but painful. Also, I uploaded a Hellwitch publisher files. Hellwitch Gallery. This is the Anthony Delaney Hellwitch premiere. Bob, please do. If you want. Um, that'd be cool. Um, more likely, I'll probably be back at HQ, so um, <laughs> I won't have to worry about it anymore. Um, that's why I was at my brother's law's place last week because he's got the super internet. We're in the same building. We're the same quality, but it's not. So, but thank you. I'm glad you guys are all um, over. So I'm going to move closer to the signal so I can get a better boost. So everyone gets to see my hallway and my little apartment. The yada, 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 yada. Right, it's definitely working over there. Okay. Never mind. Someone's in that room. Don't want to bother folks that are in the room. So, all right. We're just going to have to deal with it. I apologize. Sucks, sucks, sucks. All right. Here we go. So, Anthony Delaney. This is his book. Uh, he does a book called The Changeling. Um... So he did a wonderful Hellwitch cover, and this is, if I recall, I think this is the first cover he's done for us. Yeah, I think he also did the trio for Fiendfest last year. I'll have to definitely take a look, because I'd love to show that to y'all. All right, this one uh, was really cool find. Um, this is another publisher file. This is the Retribution number 1 Nye Commission Edition. It was limited to 33 copies. One ago. Okay, definitely message me. You got it, Bob. Um, like I say, I'll be in the office tomorrow. So I'll be doing some inventories. So definitely message me on, on there and I'll reply back in between doing my countings. I just got a lot of counting to do. Lots of books to count. But I love cataloging books. So I have one of these available. This is a publisher file. It's the only one I've been able to find so far. So once this is done, there it goes. It goes the way of the dinosaur. All right. Another BP edition, Scorch Earth number one. This is Sinister Seas edition. Um, this one is 60. I have two or three of them up right now. Um, like I say, I did hear a bunch of chiming's going on that someone had made some purchases so hopefully i still have some of this stuff available for you and it is a bp edition so it does come with the awesome bp certificate of awesomeness well, got another version of the sinister this is the another bp edition i have about one or two left Yeah, please do, Bob. Please do. And I, I'm, I love seeing you guys message me what you've picked up. And, and I really like um, just checking out all the posts on Swarm Nation. <laughs> Try the skulls. Do you want me to put on the skull pasties? <laughs> They'll kick me off of Facebook. <laughs> no one needs to see that, man. <laughs> 
would be horrible. <laughs> Ace, thank you. You, um, you and everyone else definitely make this show so much fun to do. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'm always having a good time. I'm always laughing. And um, <laughs> last week, you guys were putting me through my paces with all the challenges of say that three times, say this three times fast. Um, I can't believe I did it, though. So, <laughs> um, pasties. I, mean, I I don't know, man. That pasties look like they would hurt. Okay, I have another metal card set I posted. This is for Apocalyptic Abyss. Comes with the amazing homage. And this is the uh, beautiful image by Marat Michaels. Also, this set includes Naughty Trampy by Dan Mendoza. These are metal cards. Goth Queen by David Harrigan. Beautiful piece. The Nightcrawler by Marat Michaels is an homage to Spawn. I really like homage covers. And um, Casey wanted to know, these are metal cards. These are metal cards. They are also serial numbered. So each set has its matching serial number. So all these will be 94. And then the last one, this is a real gorgeous piece. This is the Coffin by Mike Chrome. Beautiful piece. I find this is uh, just a very stunning image. So I have that set available. Uh, I was able to get about four, five Kickstarter sets out. Um, already sold because I only had one set left. And that was for oh, um, Merciless Onslaught. Um, some gentleman scooped that up real quick. So um, whoever got that, congratulations. That was the last one I had. And it did have those cool mini chase uh, figures. So, or chase metal cards. Let me open this up for y'all. All right. And this is the metallic card set for Nightmare Symphony. And it has Billy Tucci. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous image. Scarlet one, number 119 out of 199 is in this set. Ooh, there is a um, mystery card. I'm not going to show you guys this because each one has little random cards in it from older sets. So I'm, I'm not going to show that to you. I want you guys to be surprised. We also have another great homage. Today's episode is homage. This is the Lady Death Rider. Okay, uh, <clears throat> Stephen Butler. And Dan Feldmeyer. You've seen a lot of their stuff today. They do beautiful work. I really love the homages. They look just like the originals. It's a great piece. Another real popular one. Um, this image is a great throwback to the old um, World War II era of uh, pinup uh, paintings on war planes. This is the Lady Death from Above. David Harrigan. That's a really awesome card. And I like just adding the bullet hole right there to the image is just great. Again, that's a little description on the back. It tells you the name of the artist, um, serial number copies. There you go. So I have one of those sets available. And then also in that, a classic one. Um, <clears throat> this is from Terry Dodson. Now that's a beautiful bikini. I will say that. That is a beautiful bikini. My wife has a bikini like that with all the skulls. I think she does. <laughs> Another one from the great Dan Mendoza. He, the uh, Naughty Lady Tramp. And that is also in this set. Like I say, there's a, there's a random card thrown in from um, older um, Lady Death sets from the 90s. So I don't want to reveal that because uh, I believe they're all different. So I just want everyone to be surprised when they uh, get their packages and see what they got. Um, whoever got the um, set that had the bikini, my gosh, please, please message me and let me know what you got. I do not like looking. I'm going to set this down real quick. 
I really don't like looking at the um, mystery envelope stuff um, because I want to be as surprised as you guys are. So 95% of the time, I don't even know what's in any of those mystery things or the chase ones I have put up in the past. So I don't want to look because I want to be as surprised as you are. And the last uh, metallic set I have right now is for Lo uh, La Muerta Dissension. These are all serial numbered 86 in the set. And you have Scalita, La Muerta. That's a great image. That's a really good image. Sugar Skull by Scott Lewis. I remember uh, the first time I saw this, um, working with Brian at Phoenix Comic Con five years ago, I remember commenting, it's like, whoa, dude, this is stunning pieces. And then he started showing me more and more of the uh, La Muerta books that were uh, going to be coming out. And I was just amazed, amazed. So beautiful. We also have the Santa Maria. This is Tease and Sabrine Rich. This is also probably the image I ever saw for La Muerta right there. And then the second one I saw was this beautiful one, the Bandita. So these are the uh, previously offered sets of metal cards from old Kickstarter sets that I have left. Um, not many of these sets are left. Um, I think I had maybe two or three of one. I know I had one of them. Uh, oh, Jiminy Cricket, I'm having brain farts today. Um, but yeah, there is not many of these sets left. These are the last of the last. Looking around for some of the um, Hell Witch ones, and those are completely gone. Um, I think that set um, sold out during the Kickstarter, so I had no sets available at all uh, to show you guys, and I was hoping I could at least get one set. Um, but no such luck. But that's good, because that means you guys really like the product, and you bought us out. So thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate your support. Um, we can't do what we do without your support. And we try to give you our all at all the time. So even uh, when uh, things are shutting down, we are still cranking things out and trying just to keep ourselves and yourselves entertained. Um, we always have fun at the HQ. We work hard and even harder. And um, dealing with all you fiends and all the sworn, I got to say, I really appreciate it. You guys are a group of fans. Uh, to have so thank you very much again um going in a little bit reverse order now and ready to wrap things up before i shoot my uh internet provider <laughs> um this is the dude ace you have till the 12th order it You're, the window is closing don't miss out on it it is a beautiful piece beautiful piece I can't wait till we get them um, at HQ just to show them off. Because, man, I can't wait to show those off. Cause, and they look gorgeous pieces. So this is the Sinister Sea Hollow Foil. It's a BP edition. And then I have the regular edition as well. Pretty much all of today's offerings are BPs or homages. Lots of different homages as well. Also, everybody, um, anybody who's local, uh, give a shout out to your local comic shop. Um, let me know uh, what you guys like shopping for. I always like to see what people, uh, what fans geek out on. I know it's always Lady Death, but uh, yeah, sometimes people tell me, Haley, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Susie is sad she missed you, hoping you would have popped on before. Um, she had to leave to get our daughter. Um, oh, good morning. Wow. It's weird to tell someone good morning when it's like five o'clock in the afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Here's another one. Um, this is the only copy I have of this. I'm hoping I can find more, but it's highly unlikely. Um, I have one of these to offer you guys today on eBay. Also, if you guys are new to Coffin Comics, on the link, I do have a, a link that'll take you to a 12-page preview of the first chapter 
Action Comics Lady Death series. So it's a great place to jump on. Give it a try. Um, I think you're going to enjoy it. Again, Brian and Mike McLean and everyone have really been cranking out some amazing stories. And there ain't no stop in this train. We are moving forward and we are just plowing through any walls that try to stop us. Knocking them down, guys. That's because that's what we do. And again, we do it because of your guys' love and support. And we love you guys too, so thank you very much. This is the Anthony Delaney Hellwitch Premier Edition. I only have two of these available. They were only limited to 44 originally. And this is a publisher file. Anthony Delaney. Everyone's give Anthony a hey out there on Facebook. I miss Anthony. I haven't seen him in, God, three, four months. I think January is the last time I saw uh, Anthony. So um, hopefully I'll see him again soon. But then again, I probably could have seen him last week, and it seems like forever these days. <laughs> this is a David Harris premiere edition. It was limited to 45 copies. I have one available, and this is a publisher file. Haley, it's okay that you're late. I'm just having bad... So, it's all good. <laughs> but everyone's giving me a lot of uh, messages on how to get the thing boosted, even though I spent the day on the phone with the internet guy changing channels and everything like that. And Well, it was for nothing. Another thing I got on the eBay store, I got two of these. I have a signed, signed of the Tomb of Lady Drac. This is a hot shot. Nine the unsigned one is limited to 50, uh, is number 51 out of 99. And the signed copy is number. Is that signed copy? Brian's signature right up there in the upper corner. Boom. I love that we do the character boxes just like Marvel. I like that we do this. The, the, the detailing on trying to make it look as close as to the original is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I actually, I, I love homage covers. I just about love everything we put out. It's just a lot of fun, just all the creative um, ideas that are coming out uh, at Coffin Comics. It, it blows me away. I'm so appreciative to be working for a fun company. Then I got a couple of these. This is the Miss Death Damaged Edition. It's a BP edition. So this is from Brian's personal file. <clears throat> personal collection, I should say. Designed to look damaged. Um, so uh, I know a couple of I had some people ask, it's like, is it supposed to look that way? Just an old copy? It's like, no, it's it's actually designed to look this way. Um, so yeah, these are cool. Got all the nice little cracks and all the damage you would see with aged comics that were just stacked up uh, on top of each other like everyone used to back in the day before we got comic book boxes and all that fun stuff. And you got the nice little roll lines uh, on the sides for books kind of like rolling up from being stacked on each other. Not a proper way to take care of your comic books. But hey, if you just want reader copies, heck yeah. They're yours. Do with them as you wish. Oh my goodness. Again, um, I'm hoping to find some more of these. I think I might know where I might be able to find some, uh, but I was only able to get my hands on one. And this is the Lady Yo-Yo Edition. It has a remark from her right down there. And her signature. So I have only one of these. Uh, I'm wondering if it's one of the ones that uh, left... Uh, today before I went on because I started getting lots of notifications from eBay. Okay. Another metal BP edition. Monty Moore did this cover. This is the uh, Lady Death Lingerie Premier Metallic Edition. I got one of these right up now. This is a BP edition. This is a full metal cover. Gorgeous. It does have the nice BPCOA on the back. 
So Haley, since you're late to the show, um, I'm sure last week you heard about the challenge. Um, if La Muerta retaliation to Ascension, I will be cutting off all my hair, donating it, and then after I get the haircut, I'm going to have a pie smashed in my face. My challenge to you guys, see me get a haircut, if you want to see me get a pie smashed into my face, well, you just better make sure the new chapter of La Muerta beats chapter five. That's all you got to do. Beat it, beat it, beat it, and I will cut my hair, and I will put a, have a pie smashed in my face. I wonder if I should have to do that pie. Maybe, I think I got a couple people to ask about it in the office. This is the uh, BP edition of All Lady Death, All Hollows Evil. Uh, this is a graveyard edition. One thing I this doing my, my research on it, it's a little um, short story inside there. I believe it was offered in uh, magazines. It was is a story, but it also has pinup um, section by Stephen Hughes, and it's some really cool classic beautiful images that only Stephen could do um it, the man he was a very slick man that guy had talent and that guy had style Just really great guy to know great guy to know another real popular one. this is the only Dotto jr one i have that's a bp this is um the heartbreaker hollow foil edition doesn't get that much uh, nice and hollow fully. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the word, Haley, get everyone to know. I am willing to cut my hair, donating it to be made uh, for, wids, for kids with cancer. And then I would love to take a pie in the face. Hopefully, uh, chocolate or banana cream pie. Anything else that has lots of fruit flavors, it gets right up the nose and it is horrible to get out. So I'll just take to the cream pies. Look like at that. It's a nice homage back to the slapstick comedies where people, you know, they need in the face. And it's very refreshing. I've taken at least five, six pies to the face in my years of doing retail. Do it always for charity. So this is the first time I'm doing it for both charity and for the company. Oh, you're having internet problems too. It's okay. The video is pausing a lot because that's on my end. My internet is horrible on this part of the house. Um, didn't want to use the other part of the house because, you know, folks are sleeping. Um, so this is the mock-up. Uh, Lady Death. This is the Fiend Fest, uh, DeBalfo and Friends Fiend Fest cover. This is the It is a mock-up. I didn't what I used for the base, uh, we used the uh, Nightmare Symphony. So it says Devotion Interior is actually a Nightmare Symphony that we used for the uh, videos. So this is uh, an interesting piece. Uh, I hope I can find more themes like finding that, especially the barf bags. So I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully getting out some Fiend Fest stuff that has just been sitting. Um, and it needs to get into your guys' hands, so I'm going to do my best to make sure it does. Okay, I got another little homage here. Again, give me for the sloppiest. I don't have my any of my equipment with me. Just my phone. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the Lady Death <clears throat> Revelations. It is a BP edition. This is the Death Widow Emerald Action Figure Edition. I got a couple of these up right now. And everything you can find is the eBay store. Just click on the link and that'll take you to where you need to go. Another cool item, another homage. I think today's theme is homage, BP, and um, Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer show. That's what today is. This is Death the Barbarian. Uh, this is the damaged edition. So again, it has all of the effects to make it look like an old, worn comic book from the 70s. Very neat idea. 
Um, I know we had undamaged versions. Um, also check out the uh, comics store to see if we have any available of those. But definitely take a look around there. There is links so you can check out that store as well. And also, I expect to see a lot of you at Fiend Fest. I, or not Fiend Fest. Sworn Fest. Sworn Fest. Sworn Fest. Boom. From the amazing, the talented James O'Barr. This is the Dark Forest All Hallows Evil number one. This is also a BP edition. Getting ready to wrap it up. I uh, appreciate everyone's patience. The crappy internet connection. Fine, all good for a little bit today. And then it, when I get ready to go live, it craps out. Anyways, this is the Lady Death Secret Cyber Death Edition. It's the only one I have of this that I've run across so far that's a BP or recover. I haven't run across any yet, but doing inventories this week. So who knows? Maybe I'll run across some really neat stuff. And the last today... This is the Captain Death cover. It is a BP. There's a sticker up there. I only have one of these available. A lot of people have been scooping up stuff really fast. So if you see something you like, definitely uh, jump on and grab it while you can. Because, uh, like I say, the stuff I have are like onesies, twosies. I do have um, a lot of the direct market editions on there. I'll also be doing some updates on inventories over the next uh, week or two. So probably be seeing less uploads on eBay for a while until I can get these inventories done and some other stuff, but don't fret. Uh, when I have some downtime, I will just be loading up as much as I can for you as always. <laughs> How pixelated am I? <laughs> See, that's funny, Ace, because I think my 1995 internet connection was actually better. <laughs> Can't believe I'm remembering 1995's technology. But hey, I'm old, so yeah, I can remember that stuff. Um, so that's everything I have for you today. I appreciate everything me again i apologize for the cruddy uh internet service i've been paying for um so they'll be getting a phone call right after i'm done with y'all and also i want to say um thank you for your support guys um we have been doing some really great things uh for you all we've got a lot more amazing stuff coming your way uh i say you're gonna be looking forward to this summer from us we're We've got a lot of really cool stuff coming up. Uh, thank you for backing our Kickstarters. And we have one going right now with La Muerta Retaliation. So definitely check that out. Please support us. There's a link uh, over here. There's it down here, down, over, down. Anyways, there is a link. Click on it and check it out. We have a really good selection of stuff. We also can boast that have a um, majority of the top selling comic books on Kickstarter. So, yay, uh, and you. Um, it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have uh, the success we've been having on. We just have fun um, telling our stories and selling you guys our wares. And thank you for uh, sharing our content. Also, check out our YouTube channel. We've been doing um, a lot of old videos. Uh, over the years, including um, the uh, music video that Brian directed for Calabrese's Voices of the Dead, and other things like that. So it's a really fun uh, little channel. Um, we're always trying to upload content. We're always putting up new things, and I think it's something that um, I'm enjoying working for the company that, yeah, that's just a great people to work with, and um, thank you, everyone. You really made me feel welcome. <laughs> no it may not be your inner Haley it's all me it's all me <laughs> uh, again a couple other things I found um, going through some boxes here we have the kickstarter 
additions. This is from the Extinction Express. Metal cards, recall that it's $50 for the set. Okay. It's been a, a very fun few weeks uh, being at home with you guys, uh, doing my shows. Um, I feel like a lot of you are like family now. So um, thank you, everyone. I, I really love you, and uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, watching. Um, um, the silliness that is my wife that pops in from time to time. The Apocalypse Abyss Metallic Card set that was a Kickstarter exclusive. Or not exclusive, but a set that was available only on Kickstarter. So again, beautiful metal cards. I know there's some metal card guys out there that really love this stuff. So we definitely have some. Not many, because once they're gone, they're gone. The Nightmare Symphony metal card set i'm not going to show you what that old classic chrome card is because i think it should be a surprise billy tucci um brian dan mendoza i guess steven butler david harrigan terry dodson great set of cards to have beautiful artist And then we also have the last of the Larta cards. Um, I couldn't find any other sets for La Muerta, but I'll do some digging. I'll hopefully find some more. And also the stock I have on metal cards, I'm actually planning at some time to be adding some more metal cards to the stock on eBay. So patience and i will be adding stuff this is the morta dissension metal card set this was available on the kickstarter so to next week uh should be back at hq yes i will be back at hq and um i got a lot of cool stuff i can't wait to show you guys all the cool kickstarter editions for la morta i'll be showing you guys those next week and um Maybe I'll have a couple guests uh, stop by and say hey. Um, of course, it'll probably be folks that uh, work for Coffin Comics. But again, everybody, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. We all appreciate you. Everyone be safe out there. Everyone have a beautiful day. Uh, it'd be nice if those clouds I see way off on the horizon would come this way and just dump a lot of rain. Uh, I know the East Valley, of Arizona, they got some nice weather uh, the other day. It totally skipped around us. I live in downtown Phoenix, so the clouds kind of break apart, go around the city, and put all their plenishing uh, liquids on the other cities. So, anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Again, thank you. I am sworn to you. Coffin Comics.